it felt like, and that's a good sign from this uh, this FlyQuest roster, but they need to buckle down here now, as, uh, again, whoever wins is going to start their lower bracket campaign. We got Quadis out, Inns and Vexite, they'll split up to wield the dual pistols. Ends up towards Tree early, interesting setup. This does look like it wants to finish, eh? And yeah, they're not making any secret of it. Kribba's going to be setting up a flash, presumably. From back in spawn, there it goes. Liaz, though, finds first blood, second as well. And now this is looking like a non-starter for Big. Getting shut down. Inns trying to chase this up. He's hungry to support a koala bear. We might just have the first one locked in. Krimbo, what can you do? Can you endanger an animal? <laughs> oh, Krimbo. Do you want that on your conscience? If you're going to pull off this Just run through the smoke, Krimbo. Give it up. At this point, he hates koalas is what we're learning here. But surely, surely, FlyQuest can fulfill the mission statement. If you don't know what we're talking about, check out the FlyQuest Twitter. They're doing a, a great environmental initiative. Uh, as it seems like this pistol round's just going to slow way down. Krimbo really just trying to squeeze every possible edge he could have here to maybe make this realm a possibility. He's going to walk out, and as soon as he goes around the corner, yeah, uh, that was the expected result. In fact, does get deleted. Nice starter for Inns, and that's one koala. What's its name? Check. What's its name? Humphrey. Humphrey. The name of that koala, koala Humphrey. Been saved. Flag right quest, there. if you get the choice, name it Humphrey. Please. But uh, Lias was really caring right there. Is he, uh, I mean, just locking down one side of the approach right there, straight through Donut, covering all the bases. Fantastic setup to shut down what Big had in their back pocket. And now we hop into what is a full eco. And uh, you know what's interesting here? We have Dexter and JDC playing up against each other. This are two finalists mm. on the same team, but now uh, opposing in an elimination match right now from the last IEM Dallas to today. Funny how the world works, man. Yeah. How quickly things change. Life comes at you fast. One year's a decade in Counter-Strike times. Go from an international team to an Aussie and a German team. Sent back home. It's even, I mean, for both of them, it's not even the first roster that they went to, right? They've both been through two roster changes since then. Oh my gosh, yeah. It's actually crazy to think about how fast that's gone. Yeah. Actually, I think JDC might have even been part of a third mix project for like a week. There was a brief period. Anyways, esports, one year is a decade, it feels like. They might be feeling like they might need a bit more of a decade. Dexter's in a tough spot. Could get overwhelmed. Oh, not great for that fight, but Vexite certainly is. Four picked up. No ace, so no koala. Oh. Wow, they could have had back-to-back -back koalas. Could have had two koalas. I'm free and I'm free too. That's actually, we need an extra scoreboard. We've got the, the round scoreboard, and then we need koala scoreboard next to it, please. Let's get on that, HUD designers. <laughs> MC, come on, I know you like koalas. If you're listening, get to work. Who doesn't, really? They, those are universally loved. Beloved icon of the uh, Australian and international contract scene, that, that MC. A big hand, uh, my understanding, in this hut. It's looking nice. I like this from Liaz here, taking some early positioning, but that can happen every once in a while. And Krimbo being the one to activate here on this A side. They're going to look to scale off this as well. Utility already in, and Tapson already out, so it's a hippie nine long range that Alistar has to work with, and Ailey does win it, actually. That might have just done enough to deter them for now. Dink, the dink, the execution. In, who's trying to lock this down? That's not going to happen. Seriously, and Aprilosis actually finds a kill elsewhere as well. So now, options perhaps being opened up. Late flank in. Seriously, taps, but it's a bait. Oh, Prosis gave up the footstep. Vexite's ready for it. And now his teammate's coming back around as well. Dexter trying to link up with his comrade. Vexite knowing he needs to play his life for this moment. Back away. Give Dexter a chance to cook. As he gets around the corner, might even be able to get a fresh magazine in that gun. Big stalled out here. They've got no more smokes. They've got no flashes. An A-site plants a nightmare without anything to cover. You just kind of have to use your guns here, and that's not easy, but at least cutting this noise has forced these repositions right now. And that might be the safety that they need, at least. It depends on how they activate. And they're still very patient about this approach. Now, 20 seconds left, and Vexit has not left the A-side.
Shearson has to cross is the problem. There's no time. Oh, he's got it. Oh, the pre-fire is beautiful for Searson. And now we need a big clutch from Dexter. Oh, he's already matched his kill total from the Spirit game, if I'm not mistaken. So now it's time to see how much further he can go. They've gone completely off the site. They've given him the space, but he's not got the kit. One's right there in front is. of him. Does he have the pre-fire onto JDC? Did he see the kit go? Oh, JDC prepared for it. Well handled. An opener from Crimble, but it's JDC and Searson to see this through. I, I do think there's some really good mid-round decisions right there, late-round situations where they start off so incredibly well, and they slow down, they cut noise, and just separate those two players there. Vexite, so far removed from the situation here. And obviously Dexter can't join him. So it ends up being a lot more of a difficult situation there, even in the 2v2, and even with the HP advantage. So onto a full eco, though, here for FlyQuest. Is when he shot pretty quickly, yet you want to keep things safe here for that gun round to come. I got a psychology question for you. All right, comparing the path for both these teams, right? They played one BO1 yesterday. They both lost. Thus, they're down here facing elimination. But very different games. Big played actually a pretty strong game. You know, uh, kept it relatively close. 13 and 9 against Navi, the major winners. FlyQuest got demolished. Do you think that almost helps you just write it off in your brain? A little bit of a speed bump. Like, all right, GG go next. I think anyone can write off a loss versus Donk in, in Spirit right now and say that was a tough one. You know, <laughs> I think I think that's what a lot of teams are doing right now. And whether it works or not, like uh, it's kind of what what I've seen a lot from these these interviews and from these players. It's like sometimes you you actually just cannot contain that man. Uh, you know, Mouse do it pretty well, where they were able to uh, kind of keep him contained, keep him level, but. Not a lot of teams have been able to master that much, so I feel like both FlyQuest and, and Big kind of on the equal standing there where mm. it's easy to wipe away there. Process. Ins. Oh my god. Ins. Back to burn. Oh no. Leah is not going to be super pleased with his teammate on that one. Uh, apparently the flashbangs, the chaos, a little bit enough because it's, it's not exactly like they're making a secret of that playthrough smoke. JDC was getting frisky on it. But the open the line, that could be the difference maker. Alistair, though, misses his shot, will not get another opportunity. That's uh, likely going to cost them. Yeah, you, you can't come back from that, unfortunately. That's up Dexter for disaster. In's going to give this a look-see. Oh, but he never expected Tabson to be so close. That's a tough one for Ali. Yeah, that's a shot that you feel like if it connects there you can reassemble and get multiples off of that but I feel like it's a fight all around right there man just oh boy uh, we're, we're having some good luck with the smoke place yeah yeah they're really delivering I love a good smoke uh, back to back moment that one ends a little bit quicker than our last at least now you get into that tough situation where you fly quest right you're getting behind your money tough to recover as the CT side. You've had in that last round an opportunity where, you know, a couple quicker shots, maybe it goes a different way. So maybe that doubt's just starting to creep in your mind. A win here with the Deagles would uh, be like a nice little bit of mouthwash. Alistair not going to be part of that win, though. <laughs> one by one, they're faltering. No problem so far for Big as they're just rolling right over. Tamsin rocking the op right now for fun? Tabson's the opper. Tabson said, I'm a rifler, bro. You know what it is? Tabson picked it up at the at the end of the yeah. last round and said, you know what? I'm going to keep this. I guess he maybe had a better boost spawn. Glob B never let him up. That's not <laughs> What's here funny anymore. is Kakafu said in his, uh, in his HLTV interview that it was all about like cl more clearly defining rules. And then, bam, Tabson I'm going to say he had the spawn. Had the I'm going to say he had the spawn. He had the spawn. Because he's given it up now. In this <laughs> yeah, game. he has, yeah. But it is fun for him to, if, if, you, if you think, like, in his head, he's like, God, he's gone. No rules! <laughs> I could stay up all night and eat ice cream for breakfast. That's the dream right there. Living the dream. Ice cream for breakfast. Just remember, if you're a, a grown adult, there's nothing to stop you from doing that. No rules. I mean, I mean apart just from general from health. health. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm, I turned 30 this year. I'm starting to feel those catching up yeah. to me. It'll get you. Even at 
24. It feels like it gets me still, so. No ice cream for breakfast for me. The youth. Enjoy it. It's too late for me, Cole. <laughs> There's still time. A big opportunity to recover. Here's JDC getting active towards the middle. Again, just able to disrupt it off these flashbangs. Krimbo setting them up, and JDC knocking them down here towards middle rather consistently. Even... <laughs> It feels so uncomfortable, right? Like it, it, these are if you're the player up in window, you don't feel like these are kills that should be happening. Uh, and we've now seen a couple of these, so a concerning sign for an ancient defense. The question is what is it? Is it lack of coordination? Is it lack of comms? The mid player saying you're not communicating that they're giving it up? Is it just they're getting timing? Is it just JDC's having a good day? I mean, I think it's a little bit of a mix of, yeah, JDC finding some impact here, but the setup as well from Krimbo, these flashes that are landing are not giving them any availability to sync up on these these mid defenses. So when you're getting broken down like that, job becomes very difficult. There's one silver lining here, and, and it is that they're leaning in on towards that B site right now, and that's where the last two players are, so. Who's going to be the hero? It's got to be somebody. Dexter playing ahead of the pillar. Could catch the ramp player off guard, but can't land the second bullet. Now Liaz caught out as well. A proactive big will never give them a chance to pose any problems. The B side is theirs. The round as well. And Big Clan looking very dialed in these last few gun rounds. Yeah, I mean, look at that, that early pick right there from JDC. who just flies by the initial rifler. Jumping away from the play that's flashed and just catching a back turn. That's a dream scenario, and it's not the first time we've seen that out of JDC on a gun round. I do like, you know, when we had the interview in the pregame, I did like the mentality that, that Krimbo was voicing about this matchup in particular, which is that he, he's basically saying, look, we're not in a place as a team to ever talk about being the favorites right now, right? We haven't earned that. We haven't proven that we can do that. But if we want to be the team that we think we are, then yes, we have to, you know, be the team like what? Yeah, I mean, uh, I want to add to that as well last time i feel like the team kind of took fly quest lightly in an important matchup it was uh bet boom when they were high five and when they had drew this team in fly quest mm -hmm. and look how that turned out for them so i mean again it's kind of what we expect out of a, a big roster i don't think this is a roster that could afford to do that like he uh he mentioned but we've already seen what happens when you take this team too lightly they can punish you they can catch you off guard they can surprise Time's not really an issue just yet, but we are sub a minute, so keep an eye on it as the numbers are starting to stack up. I mean, they got the read about where they're headed. The question is just, do they have the firepower to uh -oh. do anything about it? Oh, there's one. The second, if it wasn't a CZ, he gets it. Ends every bullet maximized. Makes it happen here, and this is big trouble Ooh. on. Just taps him with three. And the bomb's dropped. He can't do anything about this. He has to fight. He's got a flash to do it. Might be able to salvage some util, but the nades are scary. Makes it down to the clutch. Vexite actually does have armor behind this AK as well. So this is a very tough fight. It's going to have to be a headshot. It's going to have to be a headshot. He'll face, and he will not find. Beautifully done from Vexite. FlyQuest, just as we're starting to feel that big momentum, they snap out of the days. I'm very big on the pistols right there. That CG, I thought it was not going to be enough. No extra ammo right there. And he used that last bullet for full efficiency. So that multi... Through the mid-flank means so much, disrupts that execute. As soon as I, I think Big were doing good work to take that initiative and actually start to scale. You get shut out right there by a multi-kill on the flank and maybe a bit of an oversight from Big, but big play capitalized on by Inns. Searson looking to nullify the pain of that round with a early op pick potentially. And they're scaling off the back of the space here. Process so quick up the ramp. Is there a trade? There certainly is. But ends takes so much damage for it and has to rotate out. Oh, 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 all right, okay, hold on. Searson gets a little, a uh, little hungry for that kill, hearing the tick of the flame. Perhaps tries to take the space and this punish. Now very recoverable indeed. Alistair's managed to cross. They haven't planted the bomb just yet. Is there util? Oh, there you this? go. Oh, there it is. There's the molly, but it's dead. Crimbo making it all happen. Now it just falls to Crimbo. Position known as well. No kit. Oh, kit. Oh, boy. I'm always going to finish it. 
Surely he's here, heard him burn all the way up, and Crimbo knows he just needs a toy with him. Right now he's a cat with a mouse on the end of a string. Just keeping him oh just far enough. But he's never going to let him out of his grasp. Can't recover it, but that will cost Crimbo slides into the angle, and it's four on the board for Crimbo, six for Big. The last thing you need right there for your flight quest is Crimbo closing out those what, what feels like unlikely clutches right there. When he is in a post point, when he's in a late round situation, he always makes these right moves right there. I don't even know what Molotov he just threw to line that one up, but the utility usage in that late round to make sure that there was no safety in diffusing that bomb and just buys so much time to where he can reposition. He plays it masterfully as he so often does. Mm. Does indeed. Time out going to be taken here. Presumably motivated by Aircast. You would imagine the coach now of this FlyQuest roster. Previously a teammate of uh, some of the boys back in the Greyhound days. Good to see him back in the fold. Though he's not doing a lot of talking, so now I'm starting to think this might be of a technical nature. We've been bamboozled. Mm. Oh yeah, headset offers here, son. Little restart coming in from Searson. Shouldn't take long. So we should be right back into the fun here. Oh, what's it? What do you think he's looking at? <laughs> what do you think Process is looking at? I don't know. What do you think he's locking eyes with? Yes. Process making eyes at someone. Looking at Searson, looking at something. There's got to be something going on back there. Ooh, if we get a post match interview, someone ask Process. What he's looking at? Who's he eyeing up there? What's going on? Well, hopefully this restart won't take too long. But uh, look, some moments for FlyQuest, right? But it's not sustained. I mean, even in that one, a 3v2 with relative control, you've got the utility, you're trying to pressure the planter, and Crimbo takes the initiative, and it feels like that's big in so many of these rounds. Apart from that eco, it just hasn't really felt like FlyQuest are on the same footing. Yeah, not quite. Again, just very good in these late round situations here. They had the pistols to pull them back. I mean, in the two rounds that they were winning so far, pistol in the, the following conversion in that eco that they picked up. But not things that you really want to lean on here. You want to find consistent success here. And somehow Leah is able to work that. But a quick trade out of Sears and shotgun opping. We'll do the trick, but that dang CZ is right around that corner. So we'll see how much more Ints can oh find. It's just damage this time. He gets that reload off and re-swings into Searson top. Once again, this guy playing so much better than he did just yesterday versus Spirit here. He's trying to level up his game and looking to uh, show some promise. Or sorry, versus Na'Vi yesterday. Ah, uh, you know. Spirit, Navi, JL, <laughs> basically the same thing. Basically, Vexi gone. Done a good job of now exerting some influence on the B site. This could get interesting. Dexter actually has the gun. Hold on. They're going to have to cross him. They've got a million nades, so this should be child's play. Oh, or you could just dry walk into the angle and headshot him, Tabs, and that also works. Save your nades. That's, you know what? That's economic efficiency right there. He's just thinking money. Dollar signs. He said, if I don't throw a flash, I don't need to buy a flash. Not thinking with your head. Now, Lestaire would love to keep this gun. Be nice to get a parting kill, but it's not really going to tilt the scale. A lot at this point here. We'll be able to at least lock in one. That bomb blast does quite a bit of damage there. So does JDC, so not going to allow him to escape. Does it matter too much? Is it... I, Still think their economy is going to be in a good enough position to purchase, but again, very systematic shutout here when Searson starts to turn the tides. Feels like that's a risky spot to uh, find an MP9 multi, but mm. he's knocking down these tough shots here. You know, trying to get a sense of what Kakafu is going to be like for this team. He's, he's was with OG. He's been with Big in the past, if I'm not mistaken. I think he may have been part of the Academy project at one point in time. Like, a lot of people in Big have worn different hats. Um, I think he's been he was assistant coaching most recently after the promotion here. There we're seeing a sniper shot fist bump. Some coaches go through fist bump everyone indiscriminately. He said, Prosis, you get the fist bump this time. It was precision. Mm. Pinpoint. Stingy with his praise. You got to earn it. I get those right moves right there. 
Proposes though, maybe the fist bump didn't do him well because he's gone. He's gone at this one. The, the success can never linger too long here. Searson's still looking to be aggressive here. He's looking for his fist bump, but there's a lot around that oh. corner here and a nasty off angle from Inns playing in front of that, that pillar. He will not get tested here. Ah, it's so disappointing if you're Inns. He's just like, please, please give it to me. But they're going to be fast on the approach. Problem is, Searson. Oh, man. Little oh. quicker shot miss. Just gives them a chance at the very least here. Gives them information as well. Alistair wants to get a bit frisky here. Has a teammate. They're getting aggressive. Oh boy. Flashbang into this. Vex side has to come up big and he won't be able to do so. Taps it. At least locked out for the moment by the small top. But pressure applied. Health is low. This is far from comfortable for big. But the utility making Ali uncomfortable. Oh, Cave clear the nade is brilliant as Liaz collects and Dexter finishes them off. That's good using that perfect util right there. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. Double up with the HE. There's so much damage done early in that round and they just can't make it up the ramp. That's Flyquest having some very quick rotations there. A lot more coordinated on the effort. Now I'll start making some right moves here. In the late round there, just continuing to fight with this op as opposed to fade away and concede that space. Feels like he's uh, starting to heat up a little bit, starting to get into the flow just a touch, which would be huge for this Flyquist roster. Been a little bit more uh, mercurial at times for the team. It certainly he's had a rougher start here on Ancient. So even for the series going forward, you'd like to see that that scope heat up. Double up. Where's the second? Coming through and towards mid now. Oh my god. Rotating Alistair can't hang on. Liaz will find one, but now they've spotted the AWP in mid as well, so they should know there's a vacuum here towards A. Still, though, Big aren't getting hasty on it. JDC will show why. Catching the first rotator around, and Inns now so uncomfortable. He can't deal with the sight till he cleared out the flank. Fortunately, though, he's ably able to do that. Extra got some time before he gets back into this. And Inns has to wait for his teammate to get active. Just create the window. Create the opportunity. Back exposed. Crimbo has no idea. Crimbo has no idea! Oh, a little bit of hash of the spray, but it will work out. And there's a smoke as well. Tabson is in a lot of trouble. Smoke goes down. You've got the op. This is not what you want. He's looking for a rifle. Please, just give me something to spray with. But he can't uh. find the kill. It's way too late. And the defuse on to snatch away the last round of half. Fly quest with five as we take a break.
Welcome back here to the Intel Extreme Masters Dallas 2024. Flight quest down, but not out. A little bit of heat found there at the end of the half still. This has been looking like a strong big, and now they swap to the defense. Yeah, that's a big, with the T side, that shows a lot of initiative, that shows a lot of success in that same old Crimbo clutch factor as well. It's JDC really bringing in a lot of opening. Searson bringing in a lot of opening picks as well. This big roster is looking, uh, you know, pretty exciting here in the first half. But again, FlyQuest with a couple of clutches in the end just slowed down that momentum. But we'll, we'll see if they can save another Koala here, adopt another Koala. And a Koala. It did start out with a pistol win, which, if anything, makes the scroll in a little more damning. Mm. But, uh, chance to regain. Hail bolts on the edge of the smoke. Crimbo just take that molly. Uh oh. No, you thought you were in the secret spot, but he's just baiting them in. <laughs> you so thought. Don't fight me. You thought he was bored. Attention span was running out, and Crimbo said, "Let's uh, get a move on here, guys. I got a, <laughs> I got a dinner reservation." Ends. Just a little bit of hope as he's been trying to do all map long, but it's short lived. No koala bear today. It's big. So we like a little bit of a bigger bear type of situation. I mean, it, it almost looked like uh, it almost looked like Crimbo actually held W for a second to step in the Molotov and then faded back. It did. He did. It, like it was like he actually did want to take that duel right there. Wanted him to get baited in. He said, "Don't rotate. Don't rotate. I like what I'm doing. Yeah, come here. Come fight me. I don't want to have to retake." Driving on into this round. Hmm. We're as big in the driver's seat. Mm. Feels that way at the moment. It's quite difficult to get a driver's license in, uh, in Germany, so they're driving. It's a lot of effort. It's commitment, expense as well. Mm. They actually try and teach you how to drive before they let you get behind the wheel. Here in the U.S., we say, idea. yeah, your parents said you drove for like 10 hours, so that's probably good. Oh, oh, that's a big shadow advantage. Oh, no. Shadow's seen or not. Crimble can't do anything about it. The shadow demons are upon him, and Searson, thanks to Falter. Trouble on now. Bomb plant. Maybe coming through, but Tabson just goes into Whoa. the smoke. Only for the one. There's a flying techie from Alistair is enough to calm this down, and now with the smokes up, surely they can get the numbers punched in. Yeah, should be good. Just about. Smokes help him out. Provide coverage. They picked up A1S's, MP9's in a mix. Are you going to give this one a go? I don't think so. And that will help oh. out on the fadeaway right there. JDC just gets blocked from the server by ends. There's no way to get past this one here for Pros. Just going to grab that gun, a little upgrade, and bail. Get as far away as possible. Get your boots wet. That's better than a um. pistol win. So if, if a pistol win gets you one koala... Does an immediate second round reset get you two koalas? I'm going to try and make my pitch for more koalas here, folks. What about a pistol round ace? Oh, that's two koalas. Is, there, is, is it you two think koalas a, or is I'd it say a multiplier? Well, but like the multiplier of yeah. one times one is just... So there's one koala. Mm. So we're going to hope for two koalas. One of the power of two is still just one. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Unfortunate for the koalas. Wow, jumping tech right there will do the trick. Very fortunate for the Aussies. Uh, they needed a little bit of spice here. This this does feel like a game where, you know, especially in the second half, keeping that economy limited for big is your best path to a win. If big starts to put two or three rounds under them, I mean, it, it's just going to be over. That's how math works, unfortunately. So, fly quest. Not a lot of margin for error that they've left themselves, but... A primo opportunity. Boost up on both sides, and Prosis is the one left standing. Big guns here, but they're still rocking on in, and it's costing them in a big way. Tabson, P250, connects for two, and Inns left alone wondering what the heck has gone wrong. Tabson prepared to answer him. Well, it just evaporated right there on that B plate. I mean, good news is Bomb is in still a recoverable position here, but Inns has a whole lot more work to do before he's able to chew through start to talk about any plants so he's actually trying to find these kills isolate them first things first 
Oh, it's so far back. Yeah, it's it's going to be a long motion here. He's going to have to work for this kill and then run all the way back to try and grab that bomb. Maybe that'll provide him some sort of timing here, maybe some small advantage, but that's if he can get past this angle. Given the leg room here, at least the timing kind of favoring him just a tad. He didn't catch the shoulder, though, on the jiggle, and it's back his turn and taken care of by Prosis. Three kills in the round with this hero rifle to kick it all off, and he sure does make it look good. That's one way to regain from the reset. Second round for us. Well, we'll just get right back into it. The one safe gun makes all the difference, but it's Tabson to be the hero as well. It's just a P250 and the timely stack. Ah, uh, and I mean, FlyQuest is going to chase this up. How can they not? At this point, it's exactly what we talked about. You can't let Big create this separation. So they're going to try and drag them back into the mud. Oh. And dirty. They're getting frisky. And Eans is getting the timing, the kill to follow it. JDC did a whole lot of that in the first half, and now he's on the wrong end of it. He's having a Layout monster it. game right now. Playing super consistent, finding those openings, redeeming them here very quickly as well. Specsite moves up the ramp here. Dexter finds another one. They could just go back and forth again as they find the entries on in here. Krimbo left last man standing on this B-bomb site, still holding the line. Alistair, do you want to continue to press the issue? You've got the bomb. And at least able to survive for now, but Searson drops another, and as quick as can be, it's into a 2v2 instead. It's all gonna awry, it feels like. Pieces have been swept off the board, and has to come back through. Searson's on the angle now. Is that bomb stuck in cave? That's gonna be such a problem. Great flashbang combo. Liaz collects. And Searson now under Oh my god! Swing, they line up! No! The shish kebab shot! Searson, one bullet, two kills! Talk about efficiency. <laughs> oh my god, man. Lines them up right there towards the end. And what a way to finish what felt like around that. That could have just been locked in right there, but they, instead of prioritizing a pose plant, try and get a little extra space. I think just a tad bit greedy there towards the late stages of that round there. Flight quest. They want to really lock that one in with the, the space creation. And that's a really tough way to finish. They don't seem too upset about it. So they know what it means here. It's a concession like the of 11. This is a pretty nothing buy right now, and they're getting nothing out of it. They're going to get chased down here. Taps at the flying MP9 again. Doesn't clear his corners, but it'll do just nicely. And it is quick to 11 now. No one burst fire Glocks Tabson. Mm -mm. Not like that. It ain't happening. Not on Papa Bear. Not feeling great over in the FlyQuest camp. Here's Eric Cast's opportunity to get back involved, but they know this is really the one chance to turn things around now. You are up against it. This game has indeed gotten away from you. It is Big's map pick, so that's the silver lining here. For those Australians watching from the other side of the world, there is still hope, certainly in this series, but hope here on Ancient is fast waning. That it is. I'm going to need something out of this purchase. That's for sure. I mean, again, so much strength shown on some of these low buy situations. Obviously, when it gets shut down, though, in that 4v2, it feels a little bit bitter, almost. So trying to recover here in a more stable way with these gun rounds. See if they can find that same space here. Maybe some more setup for ends towards middle. Do that same little uh, JDT effect of, of finding some quick openers. See if we can see that clash again. just might meet HG for the smoke. What are they waiting to turn that corner for here? There's a lot right around there. He's trying to get the space. It's going to be Crimbo instead to play the Uno reverse on it. Oh. You want the window peek? Well, I was ready for it. Oh. Window slammed shut and with it, that might just be the map. Inns and Alistair desperately going to try and recover something out of this, but Tabson is hungry. Hungry enough that Ali's now heard him. Might have to just hit the pause here, and it's going to be a patience game, but it's one that FlyQuest are inevitably on the losing end of. If they try and wait this out, I mean, their options will slip away. So Wynn's going to try and create some space here in towards mid, at least threaten that he could be doing something. Are you clearing this here if you're... He knows. Monster? He knows. He knows. Oh, yeah. Just got to hit that shot. Oh, there it is. 
Nice. Unfortunately, man. not prepared for the next angle. No audio cue from Searson here, Cole. And that means it's uh, time for the Inns show. And that show has been canceled. Off the air quickly. Man. Again, Searson lining up some nice shots, but Krimbo just perfect read on this situation. But flicking all around to defend both sides. He's got catwalk. He's got middle. He can do it all. And it feels like just a tad bit out of gas here for FlyQuest in the second half. But uh, if there's anything that can get them back here, it's the, these pesky half buys that they've actually been super consistent at winning. I think they've got three of them so far, or at least two of them. One in the first, one in the second, but that's not the way you want to start it off. There's so much utility damage already done, and Tapson just plucking them out through the smoke as well to make matters worse. He can't get the reload off, though, so they do lose space at least. A glimmer. The space gain. Process under threat, under siege. Dangerous scenario, but he's isolating these angles, isolating these fights. Beautiful work done from Process. So much damage. The bomb plant they might have to concede, but even then, there's still work to do to secure those digits. Ins putting in that work, putting in that time, but once again, he is all alone, and Krimble will allow him no further. Big commanding here on Ancient. They separate. They go clean above, and they put FlyQuest to rest in the second half. I mean, that's just a super consistent second half rolling through there. We had JDC and Searson crack it open, opening duels over and over again that first half. So felt like a winning formula found there very quickly from Big, and they took that all the way to the bank. They did indeed to the impact with the Big Green. You need to be taking command with the Big Green, and that's something that can make a world of difference here for FlyQuest. So let's see if they can get him activated. Let's see if they can get a little bit of a hotter start here. We're hopping on into the server. It's time to dive into the depths of Nuke and answer the question, do FlyQuest have a few more koalas in them? It's always the question in every 18th round. <laughs> hey, they can get some aces. Yeah, and whenever you get an ace, but I, I don't the, think they've had that just yet this event. I believe. I believe Almost. The, the ins ace. I think we could get it happening. Got a couple 4Ks in the mix there, but those don't count. We'll see. Already one pistol one, so one koala confirmed. Humphrey. This Humphrey's year. golden. Humphrey is solid. Start brainstorming names for the second one. We could be getting a koala here. Fight outside, Searson spots two. In towards eight, they go. Brosis cannot land a shot, and uh-oh. Big trouble on now. Ball might just be planted, though. JDC will look to deny. Showing presence here in heaven, making no secret of that. The numbers are going to get punched in. Mini control enough to secure it. And it's a retake required of big. No flashes to get over the lip, so they're just going to have to brute force this. Grimbo, though, taking the fight with Eames and making it work. Dexter... You're all alone. Got the P250. But three targets to find, and he won't get past the first. Plenty of defuses on. The Koala is denied. Denied. Beautifully done by the entirety of the, the big squad there. Just being able to cohesively retake so quickly. And a good little bit of pressure applied here from the initial stages by FlyQuest. Finding some good entries on that A side. Just can't quite close it out in those post plants there. A little bit too fierce. On the positions, that flank coming through in towards hut. You got heaven pressing in. It's just so many places to look there. And so if you're not covering mm. these bases and if you're not being able to play off of each other, it makes it very difficult. You know, koalas need to, because of how little energy there actually is in eucalyptus, they pretty much need to just eat like all day, pretty constantly. They're just constantly chowing down on eucalyptus. And FlyQuest right now, I think they should get into character by just constantly eating and chewing eucalyptus during their games. I think that might help them level up. JDC, though, going to deny them that morsel. Snatches himself a snack early on here outside. They've gained the space towards secret, but big are wise to their antics. Prepared with the crossfire. And so instead, they'll head back up top. Oh, no. Where's he looking? Oh. Saved by the ammo. That should have been a very dead Dexter, and indeed it will be just a moment later. Krimbo wrapping it up with a little Nate bow. 
Uh, trouble on, and there's just nothing doing in this force by Liaz. Four to find the world of work to do, and most of his health already gone. Tabs is just looking to finish this, and he will do so. Post haste. They're running this one down right there. Little claps coming through. Oh, yeah. Love a clapping coach. Doesn't even feel like he has to talk. It's like, yeah. That's good. Oh, clap. Plus one round. Plus one. All good. Thank you, Kakafu. That's all he needs to do at this point. There it went very well. You know, even when JDC goes down, very vocal. I think uh, calling through that, you know, one HP and the bomb, getting into a reposition that just exposes FlyQuest and, and their initial reroute. A lot less tools to work with now. They're doing the classic one D eagle towards the outer yard. You can just keep recycling it. Oh, this is serious and. Can't stop plucking him out right there. It's actually JDC who finds the two. Yeah, I know. That looked a lot more impressive. Yeah, I know. I was, was going to say. Like, man, he's been practicing the rifles. Okay. Yeah. All right. Did get one for himself. Only the one casualty as well. So they're going to be comfortable. It's a nice start for Bane, right? Whichever way you want to slice it. A little bit of bank built up. Now here's the big test. But it's a test that you set yourself up well for. The best way to pass a test, if any of you uh, watching are still in school, so I suspect some of you might be, is to actually be prepared for it. Shocker. Study. That's a, that's a lesson I did not learn until I was out of school, so learn from my example. Do as I say, not as I do. Or did, rather. Were you, uh, were you a prepared student or what do you a crammer? Think, Mike? I think I know the answer to that one. <laughs> were you even a crammer or were you like just oh, wing it? No, I was a wing it. We get sort of guy, and it got me up to my senior year before I dropped out. So there you go. It can only get you so far. Right, look at this position, very strong there. Dexter's getting caught by the utility, and they're still able to join forces right there. That T side Molly is going to force him out. Dexter winning fights on all fronts. Three quick kills out of Dexter, shutting down that A defense. Wants more, and he will find it. Okay, we're on for a koala. And well, Pearson, he's not going to let it happen, is he? Let him hunt. Let him hunt. Come on, Dexter. That's a koala bear right there. Save the animals. Searson, though, just thinking about saving that op. Yeah, fair enough. Not interested in the animal. Interested in the big green. The beast. Beast, indeed. Creeping back. And no one's threatening him here in towards ramp, so... Seems wait, like this wait. might be a possibility. Alistair's is... Through the control glass right now. He could do something. He's he. I mean, he's an opera, right? So he knows. Come on. Where would I be? Call saving? over Dexter. Call over Dexter. <laughs> no. Oh, it's a koala right there. Where was Dexter? I don't know if Dexter could have made it on the opposite yeah, side. Yeah, he's of the a map. Little, little far afield. <laughs> little far. Do you think that's why he hesitated? He's like, Dexter, where are you? Stay. Uh, secret. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I'll just do it. No gun save through. Dude, look at this though. Look at that entry pathing rolling through there from Dexter, deleting. Everyone on that A defense. I mean, he, he's covering all the bases. His teammates on the inbound throwing some really good utility, but it's Dexter to find the entries right there and set up for success. That's powerful. I'll do it myself. If need be. Interesting series of smokes outside here. A lot spent for not a lot of ground. The one exchange, that's A-OK. -okay. And Vexite this time picking up the mantle of the entries. Vexite with two, looking for the third. Tagged, put the utility down, the bomb plant secured. This should be another save on deck here for Big. Only so long they can continue to entertain the possibility of impact into this round. Starting to think for just a split second that there might be some sort of gap that's been recognized here by FlyQuest. Back-to-back -back rounds, full charge, full steam ahead, straight through mini, and look what it gets them. Back-to-back -back rounds, Big just caught completely off guard by that. This one's the economy cracker, too. They did actually get the op, but now desperately need to hold on to these guns, and it's just going to be serious, and he's got one more in him. That should allow him to secure the scope going into the next, but it will be all they take through. Eco all but required outside of the big green, and fly quest off to the races. I need some big points of contest here right now through many flyby is rolling through from Vexite and, and Dexter in that last round, so 
I like that they have at least been able to press on this pressure point for two rounds in a row and get away with it. Mm. If you were to the do, big to fix it. If you were to do a koala race, do you think you would put them on the ground or put them on trees and measure climbing speed? I would go trees for sure. It's like, uh, I, mean, I guess swimming's a thing, so it's like natural territory. Not always necessarily the case mm. for races, but... Interesting, interesting. Nice thought. Liaz has been tagged up, but he's down the vent. And, well, with the switcheroo, with the bomb down, with no one in position for this. That little bit of tag damage may never come to fruition. This might become Operation Save the AWP again. Searson, where's going to be your hiding place this time? He's second vent right now, so that one's not exactly going to be safe from the bomb detonation. I have to get off site, and Process's forward ground is quickly denied. Likewise, recognize they're not going to get a retake here, so time to go a looking and finding one big scope. I think you almost have to get towards like ramp right now, but Searson, he's full on HP. Oh, Alistair might have this. Alistair might have this. Just look. Just look. He's right there. He's right there. That's the offer you know, but can't land the shot. Oh, keep him close enough to the bomb, and the C4 will do his work for him. Wow, I thought you were safe there with the, enough HP, but no, not quite. That's surprising. Armory has got no mercy, man. Oh, it's brutal. Absolutely brutal. Some nice shots on the way out there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, some Let's excitement go. rolling through there. You know, finally taking down the op that's been saving for the last three rounds. Or at least attempting to. Shutting that one down. Now, this is interesting. Ali's got the op on the on the T side. Alistair breaking out the big gun. Haven't seen that yet for him on new. Didn't have the best at times with it on Ancient. So let's see if he can find some impact. Pressuring ramp early, but a smoke in his face. That's not going to happen. Instead, it'll be Dexter making some space outside. Could actually get the space for the mini wrap. Well, Tabson's in trouble. He goes outside on the pathing instead and can't capitalize JDC too quick. So man advantage at least found that the space towards lower is gained. Searson and Tabson will try and hold them at bay. Tabson, no utility, just gonna have to do this with the Farmas. He found the first. Molotov might be too much, but he's even taken more. Vexite out of play. Searson ahead of the Molly leaves it all onto Alistair. If ever there was a time for some impact, it's now bombed down. But no escape. No ability to get away. JDC too quick on the flank. And it will be big holding on to the lead. Quick right there. Rolling through from JDC on that flank. Tabson from the back silo finding two kills. Just absolutely brutal. He closes the door behind them as well. And, and, you know, there's no one to hear that sound cue. So I imagine if you're FlyQuest, you're rolling into that B site. You have no idea that, that Tabson's in the back lines here. You have, think it's safe. Underrated sign of confidence over on the big side right now. Coach is sitting. Mm. That's, a, that's always a key one. If, uh, if a coach is pacing, chewing their nails, animated, crunching through their lip, things are not going well for the team. <laughs> oh, the coach is chilling while well, he's back on his feet. Okay, but if he, if he was sitting in the, in, you know, the tail end of the round. Timeouts are usually a good point to, to get on your feet, though. Yeah, got to keep up appearances. You know the cam's on. <laughs> Hold on, flex a little bit. Do you think there's... I, uh, okay. If, do you think there's any players before, like, stage games or games where they know they're going to be on cam a lot, where they do, like, uh, some, a little pump-up, some push-ups, yeah. maybe? Just fell out the jersey a bit better? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there is. I mean, you'd have to be careful. You don't want to tire out the arms too much, you know? You know, you got to keep the, the flicks fast, but maybe the coach is, you know, putting in some work here. I think he was doing some forearm squeezes, cockapoo, yeah. for this. Oh, it's good stuff right there. Either that or just built different. Just the stress of constantly clenching his own arms while he watches the team. Ooh, the best a little team. bit of a stressful start right there, but Rosas managed to make that one look easy on the opener. Although, okay, one straight through the smoke does the trick right there for Ince. It's a equalizer found. Was that, that was just the squeak smoke, presumably. Oh, Dexter's done it again. He's got all the space, and they've got the back silo player, so now Dexter can just sit here in towards oh. Vinny. That's a bit of a fumbling. From JDC, should have had a kill dead to right, and while Crimbo will correct his mistake, this one's getting a bit chaotic. The 2v3 is retakeable, theoretically. 
But if Krimo's backing away off of this, it doesn't look like he's exactly fancying his chances. They're going to give this up. FlyQuest keep it close. Yeah, right now, I think in general, FlyQuest finding the right targets on so many of these plays here. You're talking about free real estate towards ramp in a couple of these rounds where they've been able to lay claim in that department here. You've had these nasty, you know, pretty consistent mini splits coming through from Dexter and Vexite that have opened up bomb sites. And so, well, it is still a, a tie game. Overall, I think FlyQuest doing a great job on this T side of identifying where the weak points are for big over and over again. It does feel like it's been the same exploits, right? I mean, Dexter in particular is just getting massive space uh, outside, changing up his angle of approach for sure. Giving them a few different looks, but they are tearing their hair out. Trying to catch him. Okay, it was an 8-pop for process. That makes a little bit more sense. Nicely played from the FlyQuest side. Nicely called as well, not to panic after the first move out hut. And here's Kakafu on his feet, getting in their ears. A little change of the voice in the comms, but he's clearly got some thoughts about what he's been witnessing. Yeah, I don't think, because uh, a lot of these situations happen just 5v5, so I don't think there should be this many weak points in, in Big's defense. I don't think they should be sacrificing ramp as much as they have been or uh, giving over free reign towards this outer yard, right? But we haven't seen a lot of aggressive moves to shut down these outer yard plays. We haven't seen a lot of, you know, uh, you know, fast-paced plays. I like the idea from Process right there. just didn't last too long in the last round, but uh, double ops. Mmm, Crimbo, what you going to do? Double zoom on ramp right there, the classic. Yeah, okay, seems to be the lockdown actually. Maybe freeze up Searson to keep Only cooking. single zoomed. Searson just up in the Raptors, it's still just JDC to deal with this outside. Tough spots for him as well, pressure on, and this time they're going fully outside. So if this succeeds, if they get past JDC, it's just big trouble on. Searson tag, flashbang good, he can't connect. JDC's making the play, straight into the crosshair of Dexter. Was ready for that every step of the way. And once again, out their yard has been the Achilles heel. Just oh. the heel they keep kicking. That's at least info right there. But not any motion further in towards a Searson op just yet. Just Leah's thinking about it. Toying with the idea of turning that corner. In the meantime, it's a bit of a pace change here. When they take this out of yard control. They have sped it up. This time they're slowing it down, but they're ready to collapse in towards Mini, in which Searson's ready to cut them off right now. One quick pick and more spotted around the corner, but that's when Inns can react and help out his squad. Another one from Inns as well. From Lobby, finding so much impact in Crimbo. That's got to seal it. You might be pulling the Searson here when it comes to the saves because there's just no way into this round. Yeah, we know what he can cook in the late round, but no armor, no util, no pathing, no chance. Beautiful play from Inns. I mean, that was that, that was hanging on a knife's edge. It felt like he had to get both on the lobby play on the late lurk. He even took his time with it, right? Betting on himself. It's the kind of situation where, you know, maybe if you don't pull off the individual play, you're open to criticism of coming in that late, but it works beautifully. He delivers for the squad. He trusts in his own ability, and certainly that's trust that he's been paying off throughout this series so far. Absolutely, that's going to extend favor as well as again, they just keep on pressing this out of yard control over and over again, keep on getting away with it. Another excellently called round. And if uh, again, you can get ends involved in the same fashion in which he was on ancient, like, like you just did in that last one, it's going to be a bit of a scary fight. Dexter, man. I mean, you know, put himself in a pretty star position here on Nuke and, and he has been shining. Just bullying them, right? Harassing Searson up top, and then expecting the play from JDC through, right? JDC trying to catch that timing, hoping that he'd still be focused on the heaven fight, and ah, oh, ready every step of the way. To FlyQuest in the lead here. Monumental result for them early. Well, Krimbo does have this AWP now with a vest behind it. All they really have to worry about this round. Vexite's down. They've heard this. But Inns has followed. Strong control lower. The question just uh -oh. becomes, can the bomb link up? Tabson's getting active. Oh, Tabson. No, no, he's misread this. Instead of the hot crunch, he's expected them outside because of the players who've gone down. Vent, they've been bamboozled. They've been hoodwinked. But JDC, oh no, up the ladder. They keep passing this. They found Alistair, but that just propels FlyQuest further in towards the site. They, they have no idea. 
Simpson just missed this vision as well on Vexited. Oh, when the bomb goes down, that's going to be a frustrating one for Big. Searson should have this assassination, and indeed it does, but the round is a different story. A retake now required without armor on three players. An ankle shattering outside, that's even heard. Do they fancy their chances here, even with the number advantage? This one's brutal. There's no kit. Oh, tough story. Dexter finds the first. First piece of the puzzle put together here. Crimbo, does he want to risk it? Does he want to go over the lip? Seems like the answer is no. Big will concede so much hope, but they never actually had a read on the situation. Tabson's going to want that one back. Yeah, I mean, maybe a missed opportunity right there from uh, from Tabson, I mean, for sure. I'm very Casey interested to... Well, man. Yeah, both of them just walked by. And they, they had no idea what they missed. They'll watch that one back and just be shaking their heads. What's more interesting here is... That FlyQuest dropped two players down the vents. Mm. And then they walk out hut with bomb with two players. It's kind of insane. And They're taking both beautiful. bomb sites. And I can't even blame Tabson and and, and uh was it Crimbo that, that walked through JDC rather that, that walk right past them. Because why on earth would there be two players walking out hut when they heard two players vent dive? The only logical thing I would think there is that they're going towards the lower site with that. That's a bit of a wild one right there here. Oh, by hook or by crook, FlyQuest will take it. Six secured, two more to play in this half. How far can they go? Searson. Can they echo locate? Oh, Dexter was just spotted getting through, but JDC had the nades out, and Liaz now will punish his result. <laughs> And they're in trouble again. The outside has been exposed, just battered. And so Searson's going to try and make a move in towards ramp, and the timing could not be better. It just feels like for big, nothing can go right. No reads, no timing, no nada. Ooh. And now ramp cleared out. A nice bit of play from Inns, and this one... Look it like it's done. What can you do, Process and Tabson? So far removed from the scene, likely just going to try and save your rifles for this final round of play. Nothing you could do about this bomb plant. FlyQuest are just outmaneuvering big at every position. Yeah, it all starts off, I feel like, every single round with an out-of-yard pick here or there. And at least for these gun rounds, it, it just leads into the perfect mid round scenarios as well. I mean, Enz is playing beautifully in these lurking lobby positions where he's just letting them walk right into his crosser. He's just catching these kills as they come to him. The perfect bit of proactivity from him at every avenue. Just when he needs to spring into action, he does. And it is a whole lot more of the same here, it feels like. It's worth going for these exit kills. There's still money to lean back on if you're FlyQuest. Give it a go. See if you can find one rifle to be dropped. They won't have it. But they're really mastering this T side right now. And this is exactly the form that we needed to see out of out of him, out of Dexter as well. Not only is he just calling circles around this T side, but also bringing in that 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 entry prowess. It's a phenomenal rebound after Ancient, right? Where it felt like even though that, that one could have been closer from the FlyQuest side, it was hinging on them pulling off ecos, pulling off big plays, pulling off upsets. This doesn't feel like that. We're having the individual plays. Dexter's having a great game. Ince is having a great game, as we've been highlighting. But, by and large, they've been winning the macro battle as well. This time, just the double entries. Vexite and Liaz getting in on the fun. Smoke pop deleted! How are they so ready at every turn? Bomb down! And Big, you have to attempt this retake. <laughs> There's no choice here. But it feels hopeless. They've got no path. They've got no directions. There's no GPS telling them where to turn. Just driving in blind, and JDC doesn't even get back in the lobby. One man in heaven, and right now, Crimbo might be sending up some prayers to above, because that's about his only chance. <laughs> Again, anything done. Burned, eliminated, dropped on down. Five in a row for FlyQuest, and we go to the half.
of smiles for FlyQuest, and it didn't even start with a koala. What an effort from the Aussies. Heck of a way to regain full control on the T side of Nuke, and now they swap to the defense with a whole lot of confidence and a whole lot of wind beneath their wings. I mean, really, outside of losing that pistol there, I felt like making all the right decisions, abusing that out of yard, and constantly finding success. And we're going to get a quick one here. Fast A play rolling through here. The Dolly's are ready to go. And looking to find multi kills, but can't quite do it. It's trades that are quick as can be from big, and they might have both of them here if they play their cards right in the post. Waiting for the take to come in it. to get over the lid. No, they preempt it. Liaz and Inns only can find the one. It's up to the clutch now. Alistair. He wants this koala. Oh, he's done exactly what he needed to. Put that doubt in their mind. JDC, three already found, but four required. And as JDC wants to hunt it up, now he's got to be wary of the hut wrap. There's still so much time, though. No pressure from the clock, but Alice there re-clearing this, getting all the information in the world. Will JDC read that he's moved? Well, he's not going to contend with the possibility. Out of there. Out of that sight. Out of the scene entirely. Why deal with the unknown? when you could become the unknown instead. And actually, the full route in towards heaven? Alistair, not prepared for this at all. Not looking for it. Ready for the squeak fight instead. Oh Repositions himself. It's shadow boxing right now. They don't know where the other is, but still. Trying to make the reads. Trying to win the position in game. And JDC is looking for where his opponent has slipped off to. Having yeah, eventually the sound cue. Oh, yeah, there it is. Does make a slight noise. He can silently drop out of that heaven position, but he gets loud about it. Either way, I mean, the, the vent's still closed off, right? So he's going to have to blow that one open to start this retake, and that immediately reveals his position. Door closed. One avenue of approach knows where he'd play from. Where he JDC, but with that door back open, JDC gives up the audio cue and just way too early. That's a koala confirmed. That's an Alistair clutch to boot. There you have it, man. Big time right there. JDC shut down. Has three kills. Cannot make it four, though. So Alistair able to shut it out. A really long-winded 1v1 that just felt like they were dancing around each other for so long. Patience, it, man. I, and for me, it feels like, again, whoever makes that initial sound cue is going to be the one that uh, th that ends up losing that clutch. And I thought you know, that, would, that would leave Alistair in a tough spot there, right? But... Plays it well. Dances around JDC. Makes him make the first move, actually. And Bomb plant's still nice, but again, there's a, a, only a couple of Galils and an AK in the mix there. I was getting uh, aggressive here outside. Alistair looking to take that space early. Maybe thinks better of it. The Frisk not yielding results, but... Oh, some doubts of that. Ooh, is that a through That's the a foot? Flat. Was through the foot? Yeah. Oh, and he landed another oh. one straight through the smoke. He doesn't know what he's just done. But three tags. Three players below 50. Oh, my God. He just worked them towards that outer yard. Ends. Big have been aerated by this. A few more speed holes for them. And Alistair, meanwhile, has seriously maneuvered back down the vent all the way around here in towards secret. It's going to be three softer targets now for him to hunt up. Finds the first. Molotov in. Can't be risking that if you're serious and can't be taking the molly. Have to back away. And with this positional control, it's just going to be a nightmare for Big to actually get anywhere. They, they basically need a deed shot. They need a kill. They need a headshot to even open up the room to rumble. In towards mini annihilation. Bomb now drop. Bomb confirmed. Control outside. Eliminations to boot. And it falls just as Searson and Krimbo. Krimbo at least doing some damage here, but it's feeling like that might be the best. Searson killed from above as the nade reigns in, and it all falls to this one man. So much to do. Inns and Liaz on the line. The bomb in their vision. Blinking away, taunting Krimbo, and this might just have to be the save. He's not got the time, Cole. He's backing off of this. There's nothing that Krimbo can do. And yeah, they're bringing that... The same energy to the second half of just forcing to have to save here in, in these light round situations because of the setup, man. Big credit. And he doesn't find a single kill in this round, but what he does do is a whole lot of damage. <laughs> yeah, right that's there. a good one for the Dar. Yes. 111, I believe it was there at the turn of the round. So 
you know, that's a, that's a, one of those rounds where you didn't even realize how much you actually did as you're just popping shots through the smoke, but you're going to watch that one back and be like, oh my God. You see the assist taken up top? Yeah. 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 I, did, I good. did some good work there. I did good. Two kills, 58 damage. Leah yeah. says, Leah, thank Leah you said very much here. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take those. Lovely. Grimble, I mean, what these nades. Oh. Look at these nades! That's damage confirmed. That's a kill on. Off rip. Tabson, bye bye. Get out of dodge. Big clan, at this point, they just feel like they're starting every round getting spit on. Just a little whap poo. Off the rip. There's no space that they can get. And I mean, it just feels like everywhere they go, they're setting the foot wrong. One of these no good maps, but Crimble wants to change that fortune. He's got the one gun. Now make that two. Space in towards lower, and maybe finally they found the space. They found the room to rumble here. And this is a huge relief, at least taking some space here, having some kills to be uh -oh. found, and a little late reaction there from Dexter. It might have cost him some time there. Process available for the trade. No gun upgraded here. JDC now finds one. On to ends, and a round could spiral out of control. Utility is out. It does damage there, but Vexite still holding the line here, still able to facilitate as he takes charge. He loses out to Prosis. Too many players around that corner, and it's just Alistair here with a A1S at least upgraded onto. And a little bit of a dream, a twinkle in his eye trying to move on in. But he's got a crossfire, a nasty one to break on through, and he doesn't have a kit to do it, so this just might be saved from a 4v5 with a hero, Galil of all things, has turned into a 1v3 and a save. That feels like a little bit of overzealousness from the FlyQuest side, right? Each individual trying to put the round to rest, but making their own play, not setting themselves up in a situation where they can be traded or played off of, trying to rush it, knowing that there's unarmored players on the other side, hungry to chase up those kills, and now they've 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 given a window of opportunity back over to big right big guy look it it's scrappy but they're gonna take that every day of the week oh. crimbo lethal as always sets up his team gives them the space to then capitalize none of those players had armor in that post plant mm. the flight quest play it with a little bit more patience a little bit more coordination perhaps it would have been so tough for big to hold on but instead now German squad, they've got a chance. So we'll see if they can use that. I mean, as you were mentioning at the start of that round in the 4v5, it felt like nothing could go right for big until it did. So you got to wield that feeling and ride with it. But you got to do that on the T set of Nuke, and that's easier said than done. They're going to set up a nade for him? Inns has a single flashbang. Alistair could call for this. Here's the utility coming out from the other side. No, they what was smoked smoke? themselves. That's a... It's a bit of an oopsie. I, he turned for it. I think it was intentional. <laughs> I can't figure out why. I hope not. <laughs> but he turned around to throw it. <laughs> maybe, maybe he un accidentally unclicked his mouse when he was lining up the uh, position to throw the nade. That ha that's happened to me before, where you, you you run into your keyboard and then the smoke flies there. Either way, it gives him zero space towards the outer yard. And it forces him into a one-way street. And just times up the spray. Blind through smoke. It does not matter. He doesn't need vision. Knows where the play is going. And there's going to be still a defender here. Dexter who needs to just find his one. He does. He gets his. And they can operate here in the 4v2. Ready to converge in on this. And again, more damage to the smoke here from Enns. That HG, that HG could have done it right there, but he's still providing damage right now. On relenting, Prosis looking for the kill on the ends, but no, it just sets up Alistair to knock them down from behind. And 11 rounds locked in here. Immediate redemption here for FlyQuest, losing that last eco. I want to see what the total damage was for ends in that round. Uh, that feels like it's got to have been ridiculous, right? Most of it through smoke as well. Just making himself a menace. They can't get past him, and... Look, if anything, I think that missed smoke, whatever they were, I, I don't know what wound up happening there, but I think that missed smoke might have helped them initially because it meant that they didn't go into Alistair's angle, right? They didn't go into that early setup that uh, that flag quest were trying, but you also have that non-starter, you have that error, you have that fumble, and you just cannot get reset. So for big, perhaps the last opportunity, they are going to buy into this.
They are going to risk it all. Flagbear's hunting for map point, thinking thoughts of Inferno already. Yeah, setting their sights that direction. And th these last two maps here, more tricky territory for, for Big as well. Again, in particular, I mean, this time actually Big faltering a lot on the CT side and, and FlyQuest being able to abuse them very well when it comes to the outer yard control and how they're able to work that. But these T sides here for these last two maps have become a bit of a, a tough situation here. A run boost for Sears to know the crack thing's open. Got a chance, got a glimpse, but he doesn't get it for too long. Still Never something. took the shot off. I like that it's more dynamic here outside, right? They've actually uh, gained the first foray. They've gained the ability to sort of dictate the pace of these fights. Now they just have to actually capitalize. They have to be able to get past this red box. The deep smoke's in to set this up. Should give them the room to rumble. There's no one in towards secret, so that's not a threat they need to worry about for the moment, but... Well, there's also a lot of room out here, and Dexter's going to take advantage of that. Smoke to maneuver. Spot on the next. Can't quite line up the kill, but damage done. And more information gained. The bomb's in the smoke. Bomb's in the smoke. You just made noise. Tapson's right here, but ends. The magazine was empty as he flicked around. Oh, this is so weird. Tapson, a hero play. Somehow, from a moment of abject disaster, eventually he will be found. Big are right back in a tough spot. Crimbo caught, just wandering, trying to clear angles. Solo process can't escape, cannot get away. It's all fly quest here, Cole. And they just need one of the next seven rounds. It's all fly quest, and it's they're they're just all over the map as well. There's always one more right around there for big to deal with. As soon as you think you found the trade necessary to take the space, there's one more. Right around the corner. And Big just can't get away from that. Great positioning there to uh, deal with the out of yard aggression that came through. Deal with the run boost from Searson. At this point, again, finish line looks a lot more set in stone here. Ends with 124 ADR. He's been doing damage all throughout this series. Consistency out of him. Mm. Needs to do it again. He doesn't realize that one is already crossed, though. He is toast. Oh. Finally, a, a, a win in the outer yard. A win down secret. Now, there's not teammates to link up with it. They're going to try and come through ramp instead. So, Liaz is actually quite prepared. Cut through the smoke. He'll find the first, second. Can't quite swap around for one more. But he's done his damage. He's given his teammates the possibility to shut things down here and now. And Alistair still in the ramp. Plays right into the crosshair of Searson. Uh, that's a little awkward for Dexter. Not clear in his corners, and while Vexite will find the one, the trade is instantaneous. Searson stepping up, being the hero that this team needs. It's a long road to overtime, but Searson has at least put them on the path. Put them on the path here, and alongside that, I think they're in double eco territory, so they're probably forcing up here, and it's going to start some sort of small revitalization opportunity here for Big. It also does just feel like the first time. I mean, it's just one guy yeeting his way down secret, but Process actually getting down secret and winning that fight without the whole team being punished. Feels like that's been forbidden territory for Big. Both sides of the half as well. I mean, it's been nightmare territory towards that outer yard. They haven't had a consistent way to punish any of the motion from FlyQuest, mm. except for what Process just did in that last round. This time, Crimbo. Keep an eye on Vexite for me. The XM, when it comes out on Nuke, I'm always ready. The Gator? I don't know that they're going to come his way. So I don't know that the opportunities are necessarily going to be there, but these kind of uh, arts and crafts buys can get a little interesting here. Less so when you lose your outer players, you lose your better guns. The backside's going to have to get active. Lobby's clear. Now what do you do with that information here? That's the big question. You walk up the ladder into oh. Krimbo's open arms, so he'll catch you. Not quite. And well, gets caught instead. Wow. Leah's well, able to surprise him. Don't know how many implications that's going to have on this round. It just depends on how much Alistair could do with a pretty nasty UMP. That's all he's got. I mean, they know it's got to be light towards sight. Vexite even looks like he's posturing for the re-clear with the XM. Don't know if that's the angle you want to hold. Oh. Oh. They're still feeling the possibility. Alistair's just giving them wow. a flip. JDC's cleared this back around. Is he going to go all the way? He is indeed. 
Oh, Alistair going to be shot at the back of the head here in a moment. And indeed, that should finish any possibility of this round getting weird. Leaz, Vexite just going to be on towards the save. Big, find the seventh. Holding on to that gator, hold on to the Galil. The most important gun, the XM. Mm hmm. Can be fun on nuke. Chap, chap. Got, uh, I got blasted by Hiko like 12 rounds in a row by the, uh, the gator pretty early on, I think, in the CS2 beta. Mm. Manager of the game right there. Mm. Did you say, are you kidding me? I did say it a lot when he was smoking me. Inhuman reaction. Yeah, just him pushing into hut, just <laughs> holding mouse <Masuan. laughs> Deleting our old team. I think they nerfed the uh, the amount of money that you get with that though, so that was at least a step in the right direction. Mm. Okay. Well, Vexite not gonna be earning uh, a massive pile of cash here, but he would have to get a kill first with it for that to True. come into play. That's what this next round's for here. I swear he's gonna step up with it. I believe. I believe in the clutch. Where do we put him? On the hinge? Kind of where he was playing last time, in towards the hut, right? So you want to be on or around the hut, most likely. You can make some ramp plays with it. The push outside, maybe not ideal. Yeah, that's, it's tough when they take out of yard control. That, that Then it becomes a little bit more obsolete. Hear me out. You throw, okay, so you have a, a nade, a smoke, and a flash to work with. It's theory craft here. You give those over to your teammate. Uh, the angle that Alistair was playing a few rounds ago, tight under the silo, right? You work the 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 XM up there behind the flash and the nade, or behind the nade. You wait. Alistair throws the flash to set him up. When there's presence outside, swing with the XM, kill everybody. That Easy could work. Can be. That could work. Let's see if they uh, they bring that energy. He, I think she might be leaning towards the outer yard. Where's... He's not bringing that energy in towards oh, ramp. Instead. No, right towards ramp. Opposite towards side ramp. of the map. They were not listening. It's almost like they can't hear me. <laughs> they didn't hear Coach Mike in the server. He said it is a long-range Galio that's going to go in towards the uh, the out of yard. Makes a little bit more sense. But hey, this is where the action could come his way. No presence too crazy in that direction. Mostly going to be leaning in towards this lobby and a ramp control that's being pressed in by Big. And that could make this XM a little bit more interesting. Come on. Here they come. I believe. I believe. Oh, yeah, he hits the <laughs> shot, but it's not the head. It's not going to be the killing blow. Still, they have found Crimbo elsewhere. Dexter can't quite get away. Sirius was baiting that one. And the trap is sprung. If they take care of Liaz, as they will indeed, that might just be it. Alistair's got the gun, and I think he's likely going to content himself with that. They might be able to get a second. Susan is under threat. Alistair, it'll take some time. Well, now there's no one to hold the gun, so it doesn't really matter if they find it or not. But Big, taking a long time to settle into this half, but they're starting to claw it back. We've had three in a row now. Has to be seven in a row. When when did they make a Believe Review call? Uh, I mean, they got this gun round coming through. That's If they can get past this one... This next one? to nine? Yeah, yeah. It, it can uh, definitely happen. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krebs? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. But maybe soon. Op can be up. Alistair can drop that AK as well. This should be a much better looking at fly quest here. Economy regained. And for big, the big test. A huge hurdle to overcome. Berlin International Gaming clings to hope that this could, in fact, be the 2-0. Slim hope at this. They'll try the outside. This has been the pressure point for so much of the game. Presence spotted. They're making no secret of this. But how do FlyQuest respond? Nades in. A little bit of a softening blow. But nothing substantial just yet. Couple headshot, one-shot territories. For a Liaz A1S that could surface up secret at any given moment. But waiting for his time to strike. Maybe waiting for some utility to set up as well. But he's going to get mollied off. And that immediately nullifies his position here for a little while longer. And now that allows for Big to take some space off the back of that. And again, Process getting himself in a position where he can succeed. 
in this out a yard, a catch from Searson as well, punishing the re-aggression from Liaz. Set up for success and another opportunity there. They get caught. Not aware of where Process has already been positioned, so there is no safe place to stand here for FlyQuest right now. Absolute dunker of an eight into that top basket, by the way. Just want to point that out. Beautiful throw. Beautiful toss. Someone's been working on their util. Down and towards lower they go, and assuming Big do just commit to this psych take, you'd imagine for FlyQuest, this is a plug pull. They're already one foot in, one foot out the door. And though Alistair wants to get on the angle, wants to give this a little looky-loo, his shadow has betrayed him. And this blood splatter on the wall marks his mistake. The bomb down, the save on FlyQuest can see that ninth. Are you feeling it now? I'm feeling it now, Mr. Feeling Krabs. It now? I'm feeling it now. That was just alive. clean, man. Again, in a position in which no ground was had here towards the majority of the first half. And, uh, you know, the early parts of the second half, it's Searson winning some duels this time towards that outer yard where he's able to take some space. He's able to give them a couple of quick opening picks with his op, and that's all that they need now converging in on these players in spawn. It might just have to be a, a fight here for FlyQuest to hold on to these guns. It will be indeed. They're making no secret of this. Thompson trying to run these down. If he even gets one, it's well worth it. There's the one. The flick around. The second oh as well. Thompson will clear the board. All the pieces removed for FlyQuest. And they're right back into the doldrums. They were already thinking about the strap for next round. And Thompson said, hold on. There's still time. Oh, look at him. Look at him go. Hanging loose right there. That is absolutely disgusting. Tabs have taken all those guns out within a flash right there. Like you said, I almost think FlyQuest expected a, a little bit of respect right there. Didn't mm. think that they would run into a choke point like that, but Tabs and hunts them all down. Yeah, Dex just bought into the hero rifle. Oh no, this is the, the crack showing here perhaps. And now Vexite's gone early. Liaz at least can cap in, but it's going to be a trade. And Krimbo ready. Johnny on the spot. Searson to play alongside him. The early advantage. Why is it with big? Still, they do have that rifle, that unexpected rifle, that hero play. And Ince has now picked up another. No armor behind it. But a bigger gun at the very least. It's actually down secret. His teammates trying to funnel them in that direction. And indeed, Process is taking the space. But the bomb's not joining him. So how much impact can Dexter possibly have? The timing on this might actually be brilliant. They've gone back up towards the upper yard. Oh, Dexter, if you just keep going forward. The opportunity is presenting itself, but he's not moving a muscle. Still as a statue right now, so it'll be up to his teammates instead to hold. And it's just a USP to keep them out of many. Ends with safety in the heaven, but Tabson sends him down below. Now it's all falling apart, and just Alistair with a USP. Good damage even, but it just won't matter. Dexter, you've got to save this gun. You have to back away. That one kill is not going to make a difference. But it seems like he almost still wants to give this a look. It's such a risk now. Such a risk. And there's the reason. Tabson on the other side, finding his footing, finding his energy here in the waning moments of Nuke. And that might just be enough. These last couple of punishes have really turned the screws on FlyQuest, Cole. Now starting to hit a flow state here over and over again in these successful rounds. Not only do they have the the opening picks and mechanics to find these duels when they're tested, but it feels like they have the right reads. They're giving FlyQuest a real taste of their own medicine towards the tail end of the second half. And now they're only two steps away. This is interesting. That's a, that's the timeout from Big, actually, coming through. It is their last. I mean, obviously, you can't take them with you if you lose this round, but I'm curious about what the correction is. Presumably, this is a change-up being desired and something that they're doing, maybe noticing a new tendency out from FlyQuest. And it's JDC being quite vocal about it as well, so maybe something he's noticed? This is the critical one. They know if we break FlyQuest here, right here and now, it's going to be pistols. It's going to be sticks and stones on the other side. <laughs> a little pressure on there for Kakafu. Oh, man. Yeah. The choice is standing behind the team. That's when the uh, comeback definitely feels a lot more real right there. Is Fast that, A call? 
I think that was a mini smoke that's missed just a touch for Big. Either way, it does deny vision outside, so I suppose it may actually be the designed effect. And they're fast out on! Oh, from up high, he can't lay them low. And so it's advantage Big. It has been good. The bomb's going to go down. And I mean, do you risk it? Do you risk it here? You can see ends oh under pressure. Oh my god. All the timing. Alistair has no idea. This could be the knife in the back. Oh. And indeed it will be. Oh. Insult to injury as the blade sinks in. That's You know that's just solid the mood. There's no reason. He doesn't even need the money. He just did it for style points and will ins at least. We'll get the punish. But Searson has found the sharpening of the knife. FlyQuest now, what has been feeling so good, so strong, a 12-5 lead has come down to this. One final round, two guns saved through. The barest bits of a oh buy God, in on two say. HP to keep that op alive. Oh, scary stuff right there. Searson, though, makes the comeback cruel when he goes for the knife kill right there, man. Just a little style with this fight. And that has got to be infuriating. Look at this maximum frustration here for FlyQuest. As it's a one round ball game, one round to do it here for Big. And they have got themselves a tie. They've got themselves overtime. What's your one call? What's your one call? Limitations on, you're not going to have everything for you. It's going to be pretty good though. But what's the play when you have to have it, when there's no other choice? Where do we go? For big one more for overtime. For Fly FlyQuest, maybe those thoughts of Inferno came a bit too early. So now feeling like a distant memory. Full focus here and now. They had such a dynamic. CT side here in the early goings, right? To get this monumental lead, to get this control, and, and it's felt like the last few that it's been a lot more passive. Just Ali posted outside. Alistair playing very far back as well. No aggression. No push out hut. No fight in the outer yard. Just waiting to see what Big's going to show them. Yeah, this is going to be a big fight here coming down to it. And Searson might give him a test. That's a smoke to provide some safety for now. And no vision just yet. But again, it's back to the bread and butter here for Big. It's back to this out of yard control, pressing on the issue. And a push right now, rolling through Hut. Crimble looking to catch him, but the flash is perfect. And that is what they needed. A rare 4v5 found here by FlyQuest. That could be salvation. They needed something, some Way. sort of dynamic play. But Dexter right back in, trying to press it just a bit oh. further. And now the second one falls, and it's all coming apart at the seams. The A site is ripe for the picking. And Big here are here for the harvest. Bomb still needs to make its way in. Alistair getting his space up top. Inns isn't spotted. Inns with the swing. The one found, the second as well. And the bomb dropped down. Flypiss could still close it out here. Process latent towards heaven. This could be unexpected. I think he just made noise because he dropped. I'm not sure, though. Tabson's trying to hold their focus, trying to distract, knowing the po process oh, could be boy. the ace in the hole. No one's looking. No one's checking. Liaz snaps around just in time, but he can't find the kill. And Tabson's gotten away with the bomb. And so well, rotated down lower, though. He's already here to meet them. But he's the only one who could do anything about it. Alistair's still up top. Process may not realize, but no, he does. He's ready. He's all there for it. Now Eden's pulled back up as they've come all the way around. Big have done it seven rounds in a row, and we are headed to overtime. Oh, my God. And the way that they just pull that right back from FlyQuest, it's a brilliant opening play for them to get this opening door here from Dexter and set up by Inns, but it doesn't matter when it's pieced up. They don't respect the space that you fought for early on. And they just wait and wait and wait for Process to activate from heaven. And Tabson knows how to play those late rotations. He knows with that experience what he can bring to the table. What a finish from Big, man. They've done the hard work. Now you get to look to close this out. And the evens, 12 all. Does FlyQuest have anything to find 13 at this point? Talk about a deflating half of Counter-Strike. All the air has come out of their tires. And now it's a question of whether they can get that pump out. Get it back to ship shape. Road ready. 
Oh, boy. It worked, right? The strategy in that last round worked. The double pushing towards Hot, the 5v4, but then they want to press the envelope just a titch more. The bomb gets dropped. So many moments, it felt like FlyQuest had it wrapped up, and now instead, Dexter deleted. Out of yard, the domain of big. What a change of fortunes. This has been the lower site compromised. And as Alistair falls, the hope of this being any sort of resistance from FlyQuest has gone out the window. Oh my goodness, they've ripped this lead from FlyQuest piece by piece, and it feels brutal. They can't even get on, on this retake right now. They cut off and the inbound here. Searson plucking them one by one. Another challenger turns the corner, and Vexite knows there's no real point. Maybe getting away with an op is valuable, but he's sticking around, and he's going to burn. Go down in a blaze of fire here is JDC. We'll be the one to eventually find him. A labored effort, but it's it's the lead claimed here by Big. It absolutely is. And this momentum is now just full steam ahead. FlyQuest are looking about as endangered as their beloved koalas. Uh, the, the energy has just completely gone out of this team. They're they're not eager for the fight anymore. They they feel scared, frightened. They recognize this situation, right? You're not seeing the smiles. You're not seeing the cheers. You're not seeing any sort of energy in the cams. And uh, who can blame them? It felt like they just needed that last piece of the jigsaw puzzle, but they've lost it. It's fallen off the table. The dog's eating it. They just cannot find the solution. Alistair going to try and deliver it. May have spotted a pixel. X-ray could be deceptive. But at least for now, he's not going to be given the fight, and he'll have to back away as the smoke threatens to fade. Not a bad idea right there, and trying to find a solution towards this out-of-yard control. But they can't press him off. You can't find any opening picks here. That is just not given by Big. So now Alistair goes all the way from ramp with his AWP to make a move towards Secret. Still hunting for this duel. Still hunting for a fight. It's going to leave him isolated, though, because he's going to be stuck into this. You'd imagine he's not going to fancy, you know, a reclear here, trying to hold the angle, and that means that the AWP won't be present. I mean, right now, how quickly can they explode out towards A with, with only two players on the defense? It's a weakened bomb site. That one's going to be exposed by that Molotov. It's a bit of a cheeky angle for Vexite here. Up in the rafters. Out they come. Timely CT Molly. Good flashbangs, but Vexite's collecting. He needs more. He's got it. A third as well. A time for a hero, and Vexite might have just donned the cape under pressure, but sets up the trade. Still Crimbo's here. A clutch required, but Alistair locked out by a smoke. Crimbo does not know his position, but if there's one thing he's got, it's ice in his veins. 17 seconds. No time to spare a reroute around, clearing in towards the lobby. Alistair tight on the angle. If he just plants back sight, the molly can come out. Oh, but it's too slow. It's too late. It won't deny this. The swing on in, not checked yet. Alistair just begging, begging him to round the corner. Oh, I can't afford for this reposition, though. Now Crimbo in the hut. He's creeping back in. Looking to clear. Crimbo's gotten off the site. Alistair, does he trust his read? Now he'll know. There's nowhere else he could have gone. And as he clears this, he's got the information. The Molotov could win this. The Molotov could end it all. Crimbo has to make the play through. Alistair will line up the shot. Patience rewarded and the defuse to boot. FlyQuest aren't done yet. Sweet, sweet relief right there for FlyQuest. As you're up against the clutch against Crimbo, the last thing you want for a comeback to continue is to lose a 1v1 versus this man. And a little bit of redemption on offer right there. Much needed. A massive round from Vexite as well. He's been whisper quiet here on Nuke, and he's a player who we know can go above and beyond for this team. The youngest player on this squad, perhaps one of the higher ceilings. We've seen flashes of it. If he can come alive here late, he could be the X Factor, the difference maker that keeps them headed towards a three-map series. Oof. He's gone in this one, though. X Factor neutralized. Not gonna have to worry about that. Crimbo won't make that mistake. Oh Crimbo! God. Oh, I think a little upset he didn't get the clutch through because he's out for blood now. Oh, a bomb coming down, <laughs> taps him through the smoke. It's all falling apart at the seams. FlyQuest under siege, under pressure. And make no mistake about this, Big are not interested in another clutch, not interested in another 1v1. It's overwhelming force this time. And it's Liaz as the next victim 
all onto Alistair again, except this time it feels nigh on impossible. It would require a koala. An absolute koala of an ace, and Alistair, the scope up, confirms his position, the shadow reveals it, the op lands from Searson instead, a lead once more for Big. <laughs> Krimbo, a little smile right there in the end, man. He knows what he did, opening things up right when he needs to as well, right? The clutch that he almost gets, not enough, but why not just kick things off with a multi, with a double kill opener? to make sure that no clutch is ever required. You don't have to roll that one back again. Able to avoid that much. You hop into, now the CT side, the CT side that Big have struggled on. At least that is a small silver lining here for FlyQuest in this comeback effort, but what they don't have is any momentum underneath their sail, so. And what they don't have is any out of yard control right now. Searson now in this overtime affair is taking that all away from them, pressing the issue and calling in for reinforcements on this A side. There's three players triangulated because they know there's no space here. And there's one less player removed. Dexter can't believe his eyes. But now, how do you even regain, right? Searson staying alive. Alistair knows he has to hunt this up, knows he has to have this impact here. His teammates trying to make their way through, eating their own nade. Vexite putting his teammate down at TK at this juncture. Oh no, now they're fumbling, you're seeing the mistakes. Alistair at least will clear Sirius, and this allows them the comfort to at least know they need to fight forward, but it's a 2v4. The bomb lost, the miscues costing. Smoke maybe to recover here, but utility back the other way, it is so uncomfortable. He's out, he's out. Huh? That's the first step of maybe Taking this back, taking this control, but they're not ready for Plosis to be so close. He's ready for the brawl, he's oh ready goodness. for the headshot, he's ready for series point for big. And what a call it is right there as well. How it all kicks off, Searson pressing the issue towards that out of yard and disrupting. This is not something we ever saw in regulation. This is not something we saw at all from Big. They were losing the outer yard over and over again. And in overtime, when they're feeling the confidence, when they're starting to feel that flow state hit, Searson says, hey guys, I'm just going to win this round. I'm going to get all the information for us. And what a value that is here for Big. What a value that is for Tapson to be able to stack those resources elsewhere. Space outside. Alistair. Times the smokes nicely. He's got all this ground. He's got this room. Nade pop. Not quite punishing just yet. But the Molotov will limit his access. JDC eats that HE. Oh. A little dietary fiber for him, and he will, in fact, be gone. Susan did collect, though. And Crimbo, the secondary op. This unexpected, perhaps, the shot. Not on. Tapson still into the angle, slips in towards the vents. That's a hell of a dust bunny for them to deal with, <laughs> but Alistair, he's cleaning out the filter. Now they got options. Do you go down? Do you go up? Inns has this room out of the hut. Process under pressure. If Inns can find the shot, if Process wanders too far over, that's the A site compromised. They got the choices. Susan. Maybe still a bit of a fly in the ointment. Only timing here, but he is going to be rebuffed and cannot limit the AC for Alistair instead strikes. And it seems like FlyQuest might get another go. Trimble with one, but how much further can he take? Get no more ins to shut it down. One more round. And they're fighting for their life. They're fighting with their back against the wall. They're up against elimination point right now for Big. That's been claimed. But they're able to stay alive for another round longer. A little bit of life on the line here for FlyQuest as they know that they need to take this one back here. They got to figure out a way to win one more T round. We'll see a little bit of that energy revived in this FlyQuest squad. Feels like Searson has just become their boogeyman, right? He's everywhere. You, you getting killed outside? Searson. You getting killed down secret? Searson. The guy's pushing hut? Searson. Uh, he's just everywhere. But this time, oh, they've got a lot of space there. Searson from heaven. Everywhere you turn. Oh, again. They close their eyes at night, Searson. This time, Brosis the boogeyman, and Searson oh. continues oh. to find, and he will end it all. The
dreams of FlyQuest crushed. They are out of IEM Dallas. Big triumph. Seven round comeback in regulation to get to overtime. To get to this point it was looking like Nuke was a write-off, but Searson was not interested in hearing it. Oh my God.